Hey y'all, what's up? So I thought it would be fun to do like a video just showing you like the many different styles that you could do with like your human wig or you can even do some of these styles with synthetic wigs. But I know that we spend a pretty penny on our human wigs and they are investments. And so we just want to make sure we are getting the most use out of them and doing as many styles as we can and getting the most wears out of them as we can. <laughs> For today's demonstration of wig, we have this wig right here. This is the Lux Collections, formerly known as Kinky Curly, now known as Kelly One. Because as I told y'all, I'm doing a rebrand. Just not the site, but just like as far as packaging goes and then like um, getting new inventory and stuff like that. So um, we are currently in the process of rebranding. So you can't purchase this as of right now, but it'll be back up and running very soon. Okay. So just stay tuned for that. But this is a lace part wig, an Afro Kinky Curly lace part wig. This is just kind of what the inside of the construction looks like. I cut out the combs because I don't like them. Um, and this is what the texture looks like. I don't know. I feel like you can't really see it that good. So it's like, it's a Afro Kinky Curly texture. So this is what we're going to be using today. So let's get started. Okay, so this first up is obviously a middle part. Now, I, this wig has just been washed and air dry. It's completely dry, but I haven't like fluffed it out yet. So it's still looking very like flat and like, you know, but I still have like other styles to do. So I'm not going to fluff it out too much. I'm going to just give it a little... Something. Okay, so another obvious one, a side part. Now, if you have a wig that can be parted, then you don't have to necessarily shift the wig from either side. You could just part it into a middle part or part it into a side part. But if you do have a wig that's a lace part wig, then you can shift it to the left side part or shift it to the right side part. Just because the wig does not necessarily have 4x4 four four lace parting or 13x6 lace parting or 5x5 five five, five lace parting does not mean that you cannot get the most out of it and does not mean that you cannot wear her to the side or wear her to the uh, right side. Okay, so this is number two. So another obvious one is as a headband wig. Any wig, as I've been saying, can be worn as a headband wig. You just have to kind of like do your edges if you so choose to like lay them down and then slick your hair back if you so choose and then put the push the wig back and then put a headband on. Very simple. And just like that, you have a what? A headband wig. <laughs> Okay, so the next one is a hot puff. Now, you would need a curly wig of some sort to do like a hot puff. I mean, I guess you could potentially do like a high bun with like a straight wig. Yeah, you would. You could do like a high bun if you had like a straight wig. But if you have like a curly wig, then you could do like a hot puff. And I think it's really cute. It looks cute with the hair wrap. It just goes, it flows. And if you want, you could take out a couple of like little tendrils and let them just fall from the back. So it really looks like your own hair. When I wear my, my wig like this, I usually fluff it up very nicely. Um, but because I have a couple of other styles to go and I know that's going to really like change and make it more like puffy, I want to wait till I get to that. But yeah, a cute high puff. <laughs> Okay. 
Okay, so the first one, the first portion of this style is the half up, half down ponytail. So leaving the hair out and just having like the ponytail, obviously some of my hair is mixed in here too. Like this is my hair. And it blends pretty well with like this texture. I feel like obviously this piece is a little bit more frizzy, but it still blends. And this piece is more defined, so it blends even more. But this portion, like you could just leave the hair and let it just be like a half up, half down pony. I've already done like a video on this whole like technique by itself. It's like called my five minute quick half up and down. I mean, what? <laughs> It's called my five minute quick half up half down style video something like that I think but that is like you doing a bun and using like a more blown out texture um, And this is like a pony but it's the same technique you just leave the hair out instead of wrapping it, but I think it looks really cute <laughs> And lastly is the half up half down with the bun though instead of the ponytail and it's literally just the same technique you just make the hair into a bun and that's that changed my mind and I think I am gonna wear my hair like this today I gotta go run some errands and I think I'm gonna keep my hair like this I think it's really cute um because I had intentions on wearing like my the wig that I had on when I started the video but I feel like you know it sure is windy outside and you know I don't have to worry about when the wind blow well you know if it blow too hard could see some things taking place in a bike but yeah I'm pretty sure it's windy outside and I can just like have the wind blow and not have to worry about like any lace or anything like that so that's it y'all let me know down in the comments what you thought of the styles let me know which one was your favorite give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe if you're not yet subscribed and I will catch you in my next one I hope you enjoy the rest of your week your weekend whatever it may be peace and blessings